We're here in Colorado and the antelope are in full rut mode. It's a really fun time to hunt because you get to see antelope in that time when all they want to do is protect what they have and get ready to propagate the species. You know, one of the things we count on out here is how good, of, how good our optics are. Um, you spend a lot of time in the truck trying to find antelope, make sure they're good enough. So the only thing that makes that happen is quality, quality optics. I say a lot of times the only thing that works all the time is gravity. Uh, and during the rut, during the antelope rut, a lot of times the decoy, well the decoy will drive them absolutely crazy. Other times it doesn't work at all. But one thing for sure, an antelope's vision is so good they're going to see it. And if they want to come to it, they're going to come to it. It'll get their attention, and just because you have an antelope's attention, it doesn't mean that he's going to stay there long, because he may be with a bunch of girls, and he's got his mind on something else. He doesn't want to fight. He wants to f No, sorry. <laughs> Got an antelope that's bedded down over here with some does, and we're gonna, we got the perfect terrain. We can see all these hills and stuff. We're gonna go up there and see if we can put a decoy out and see if we can sneak in and get him to come over and say hi. You know, all, anal all animals really have the, the three senses of sight, smell, and sound. And you need to be able to fool those senses in order to get close enough to take animals. Um, the one thing on an antelope that outweighs everything else is their vision. Uh, an antelope can see uh, 300 degrees without turning their heads. Their eyes are set to the outside of their head. They have a very, very wide field of view. So it's very hard to not get caught when you're trying to sneak on an antelope. Oh, darn it. I should have had that one. So the one thing you really have to do is make sure that the whole time you're trying to keep yourself out of their line of sight. When you come out to hunt here in Colorado, we are hunting wide open, flat areas. Um, it would not be unreasonable to think that a hunter would need to make a 300 yard shot. I don't know that I would ask anyone to shoot over 300. We have plenty of hunters that come out that can do that. But uh, if, if you can really get your gun sighted in and, and be proficient at 200, then you should be fairly good at, at 300. And that's, a, that's not an outrageous distance to shoot out here. That's what I'm talking about, boys. That's better. <laughs> Heck yeah! That's what I'm talking about! All right, welcome to Colorado, boys and girls. That right there was uh, pretty cool. We wound up, we did a the classic sneak. The classic sneaker. The classic sneak. We wound up, we've got good broken country here, and there's nothing taller than about a about that tall right there. And so we wound up, we used the hills to our advantage, Thank goodness he stopped, huh? Yeah, he did. It took him a little while to get turned broadside, but you know, it's one of those things. You just kind of wait for your, your opportunity, and the doe kept saving his life by standing behind him, but <laughs> eventually she lost the battle. Oh my gosh! Looky here! I've never seen an antelope with horns that coloration yeah. before. Why is that, you think? I think it's just, he's just muddy, dirty. Wow. It's like, or been rubbing them on something. It's crazy. Boy, that was a heck of a shot. All right, so if somebody wants more information about coming out here with the Atkinson Expeditions, give them the telephone number, website, whatever, so they can get a hold of Wes. Uh, it's real simple, just the best way to get a hold of us is at atkinsonexpeditions.com. It's our website, uh, it's got all the contact information, it's got all the pictures, uh, videos, I mean, it's got a ton of information about us, so that's the best way to get a hold of us. And we're hunting private ground here, folks. Private ground. 
<laughs> so anyway, this is this is pretty cool. Well, I lost the 20 cost this morning and went second, so now I'm on deck. But good let's job. Go get another one. Yeah, let's go get another one. We'll get this bad boy taken care of, and we gonna get another one. That is pretty awesome. Welcome to Colorado.